Trump supporters keeping the jubilant momentum going as they celebrate a second election triumph for Trump and Republicans across the country. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray joins us live from West Palm Beach, where supporters are looking forward to the next four years. Right, Joan? Well, Elliot, the celebration began overnight at the Palm Beach County Convention Center. We were there last night and it continued all day here outside of Mar-a-Lago. His supporters tell me that with all the problems going on in the country, they finally have somebody who can fix it. Justin Navarez is known for having some of the biggest flags flying on the road leading to Mar-a-Lago, President-elect Donald Trump's home. We thought uh, he had it in the bag the whole time, so. He wasn't surprised by Tuesday's win. He attributes to people worried about inflation, gas prices, and the border. He says he's going to have the largest deportation effort ever but we had the largest influx of illegal aliens ever. Some experts worry the loss of undocumented immigrants will mean fewer agricultural workers and construction hands in South Florida and ultimately higher costs. Justin Neverez understands the worry. People that have been living here for a while, you know, I'm kind of on the border about that, on the fence about that, you know, but if, as long as you start with the criminals first, I think people will be happy about that. Kobe Shukram and Christine Salmon agree. Shukram owns an insurance company and believes Trump can fix high insurance rates. The entire insurance industry here, especially in South Florida and any coastal city, uh, is in dire need of some, some fresh uh, direction and some first, uh, fresh uh, guidance. As for unifying the country? It's questionable because uh, the divisiveness was so uh, strong that I don't know. Now, uh, we understand Mr. Trump is at Mar-a-Lago, but all day long we saw under heavy police escort cars leaving the mansion, going to fly out of here. He was entertaining a lot of guests during this time. Uh, we are also told that he is working on his transition and should have a plan together soon. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.